For police reform flocking to city council chambers today, continuing their calls for change. City council members had been considering a resolution outlining their priorities for contract negotiations with the police union, but they ended up delaying that to get more input. But as Garrett Berger tells us, they got plenty of input today as well. Before I speak, I want to yield one minute to the lives of Charles Roundtree, Marquise Jones, and Trini Scott, Norman Cooper, and City Council, I am calling on you to raise a fist or take a knee if you stand in solidarity with us today. Though many City Council members have vocally supported the aims of police reform demonstrators, there's still an air of frustration in City Council chambers today. If you truly cared and wanted to make a change, you would start putting together some things that can make a change now. Impact now. I'm committed to advocating for More them. than 20 people who spoke called for steps like defunding the department, repealing state laws that help form the current police union contract, and ensuring bad cops are punished. Telling a racist to not kill black people, knowing that he does not have repercussions for those actions, is not helpful to this community. City Council generally doesn't meet in July while the staff works on preparing the next budget, for which some in the crowd criticize them. But the mayor and council members say that doesn't mean they'll go away. Meetings are happening, conversations are happening, the work is continuing. Yeah. And it appears the movement is ready to continue too. Black Lives Matter! Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.